Don't ever grow up. Oh. Okay, since you love them being young so much, you can sort this one out, Yona. You walked straight into that one, didn't you, friendo? Don't let them take your soul Welcome back to a new video and first things first I just want to say a massive thank you to all your sweet and wonderful messages while I was in Bali if You guys missed it um, Ali and I got engaged while we were in Bali, which was really really cool And yeah, just kind of a super emotional and sweet I made a dirt part of myself I fell down the stairs and I realized what was happening because I was so emotional But it was really amazing and you guys messages were so sweet. So thank you so so much So tomorrow I'm gonna get the um, I'm gonna get to post about um island living i was obviously away while all this stuff was being released so i've not seen much of it but honestly i kind of like that fact because i'm not one for looking at like trailers or like like movie trailers or game trailers sorry i'm just gonna move my ships back in the suit and my goats back into their yard because honestly i like like the surprise of it so i haven't seen a huge amount of stuff for island living i know there's mermaids i know that there is there we go in the back end. um i know that there is a oh, lot Wow. It's stressful. I know that there is also a conservation career, which I absolutely love. And that's more or less it. So I'm, I'm keeping myself super in the dark about everything to do with um, Sims 4 Island Living because I want it all to be a big surprise when it comes out and I'm so excited. So tomorrow is when you guys are gonna get to see that. I asked you guys what you wanted me to see today. Oh, where are we off? Eh, I wasn't even moving the camera then. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Why am I keep going over there? Okay, it seems to be behaving now. Uh, and you guys said rags to riches today. So we are in rags to riches. If you guys remember the last episode, we had, ignore his name, St. Patrick. He is little baby um, Coda. And also Nita. So thanks for that, guys. I aimed for one baby. In fact, I didn't even aim for one. Both of your babies were kind of accident babies, but happy accident babies. And they've definitely increased your stress levels a lot. The thing is, we also now own what will become um, Willow new bakery but we don't have enough money to build stuff on it yet so this i love this rex to riches series because it is like i'm trying to manage a farm i'm trying to manage animals i'm trying to manage a husband and like the wife like relationship I'm trying to manage two kids and also a business as well like it's definitely gonna be really really tough so yeah hard times ahead and oh my gosh we can be evolving some plants oh <gasps> this is amazing so i'm just gonna like get back into the farm and just like check on everything farmified first then we're gonna have to keep trying to get as many funds as we can so that i can open up um the bakery and part of the bakery opening up sort of vibes means that yona is gonna have to try and like like handcraft a load of stuff for the bakery which i'm really really excited about and then he will be like building the bakery and willow will be like helping to fund it with her existing bacon so it's gonna be real exciting and real fun and i can't wait so you're in a really angry mood or emotional from the menstrual cycle. That's always the case with my poor little lady sims. But nevertheless, we have to do loads of like, we have to farm, we have to brush all the animals, we have to sell their uh, fur to the market. We just have to be like real good little farmers whilst also listing out for the babies because yeah, okay. Yona, can you take this one, babes? Let's change the diaper. Let's give her a little cuddle and a little rock. I feel like today, like as in not in this episode, as in like, but in this episode, but as in literally this very day in The Sims Wednesday, I feel like Coda is gonna age up into a child. So I'm super, super excited to see like child Coda. Oh, you're too busy getting attacked by bees. I see, I see how it is. Oh, now running for the baby. Good man yourself, running in for the baby. And yeah, this is just like my stressiest series to be honest but i like that i like that it's hard and like stressful and like i've got to like keep an eye on everything at all times and just like struggles to funk in this series really the bees keep getting enraged as well because i go to other series that they have like days where the bees don't really get cared for and that makes them mad also you guys are saying it's like dream house because we just have fruit like all over the floor again just like the dream house series oh and wow some of my strobes have actually died while I've been away. Oh, this isn't good. I don't even know why they were all there, but still, it ain't good. At least we're out of the, uh, you know, when Willow was pregnant, she peed herself a lot. Like, I actually don't think I've seen a sim pee themselves quite as much as I saw Willow did in the last episode, so... 
That was exciting. <laughs> oh, and now the dog's rolling in. What I assume is probably pee, like, let's face it. Let's take Doggo for a walk, because I'm not surprised he's been a little bit of a wreckhead. And then we've got, oh, we've got to make dining chairs, haven't we? Let me check what I've currently got in my household inventory ready for the bakery. 78 strawberries. Don't really know why they're there. Can I give them to Willow for baking reasons? Well, I can't, like, grab them. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> They're just there. They're literally just there being absolute wrecks. Okay. Set. Oh my gosh, there's 77 of them. And I have to individually place them. My game? Seriously? Seriously? Are you actually gonna do this to me? Is this how we're going down today? I also got woodwork in progress. I don't know why it's in the house inventory. We've got an end table. We've got a dining table. And we've got one dining chair. I still feel like we need like a little bit more stuff. Oh my gosh. A wooden... Look at this. A wooden bathtub. I, li I literally don't even know a wooden bathtub. Pretty cool. Oh, I, w I want the wooden one. Maybe we'll just have it as like a feature in the bakery. I don't know. Whatever. How are the kids? Oh, yeah. Just as I thought. The I, I literally can predict it now. I can actually predict when it's going to happen. Which means I'm getting a I'm becoming a better baby owner, which is always nice. Oh, and the other one's up, which means probably do a feed. So on it, you guys. So on it. Oh, parent in level five as well. Let's check us out. Also, FYI, I've been up since half five this morning because I am super, super jet lagged. And yet again, I'm like, oh, we'll get so much stuff done today. Like, no, we need to take the dog for a quick walk. We'll do loads of farming. And oh, hello, it's 7 p.m. in the evening. Great. You're there walking the dog. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Yona, explain to me where the dog is because, oh, okay, oh, wow. That is an extended lead and a half right there. Look, Bjorn's like, like happy as Larry because he's miles away. He's basically a wild dog at this point. Okay, Bucky, bye. <laughs> bye. Oh, just when I was about to eat... Of course the baby starts crying. What? What is it that you need? Probably a feed. Okay. Surely you're gonna be aging up. I, I thought you'd be a toddler when I got back here. In fact, Patrick, you're not called Patrick. You're called Coda. But still, surely. Surely, surely, surely. When he ages up, I can actually change his name. You just can't do it when they're children. Uh, babies, even. I don't even know what life state this child is. Oh, well, dinner at 11 p.m. This is literally my hardest series because yep. there's so much to do and there's really not enough time. And Yona's sad. Don't ever grow up. Oh, Yona isn't enjoying the thought of his little one growing up. That's so freaking cute. That's the first time we've seen oh, that. That's from boring. Slice of Life. So as much as I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so much hard work. Yona is actually, oh my gosh, please stop doing that dog. He's actually loving them being babies so much that he's sad thinking about them growing up. You like look like like yeah i don't know like quite like tough sort of manly dude with some man burn like he's strong and like but at heart he's like actually so sad about the thought of his little baby is not being babies anymore that's what we love soft squishy men that is what we love and one of the babies is crying okay since you love them being young so much you can sort this one out yona you walked straight into that one didn't you friendo <gasps> it's almost nita's birthday uh, uh, it, what? Is, does that just mean that, like, Koda was gonna be a baby forever? Please no. <laughs> Please no. Gosh. Well, this one's your go, Will. Oh, two of them! I'm honestly feeling like if Nisa's gonna age up, I feel like I have to just go in and age up um, Koda, or else it's just gonna be also out of sync. I think because I was away from the series, that's what's caused this. I'm just gonna have to do it or else everything's gonna be in the wrong order and it's gonna stress me out. So let's do that now. And then Nita hopefully can last like an extra day and a half, two days. I think that would be about right. Okay, here we go. Little Coda aging up. Oh my gosh, you have purple eyes, but oh my gosh, you're so freaking cute and you look like your father, which I love. Um, I never am able to make children silly anymore. No, wild, wild. Otherwise they do the corner like walk with the legs all short and strange like that. Uh, I kind of like the idea that loves their freedom and don't like to take orders. Okay, um, no. Let's go with inquisitive, like he's interested in the world. And then let's go ahead and check him out in case. Because I also wanted to make um, Yoda, Yona's eyes, not Yoda, Yoda's not in the series, he's in a completely different thing. But Yona's eyes are meant to be green, so I have to change <laughs> Yona's <laughs> eyes. Although, the, look, the ones I've given him are kind of like greeny brown and that's like very intense i kind of like the idea that his eyes are greeny brown and willow's eyes are like actual greeny green 
So it makes sense that this could be some of our first children that will actually have like green eyes from two green eyed parents, which I love. I know it's given in purple, but the game doesn't understand like genetics of CC eyes. So don't worry too much about that. It gave Chase the same. I'm just going to give him green eyes to so genetically he's got them, but I'm going to be using some like CC eyes on her. Which one should we use? I'm a big fan of these ones at the moment. Like they just speak to me on a spiritual level. Then I kind of am tempted to also go for eyes more similar to the parents too. Like that. That eye color is really nice because it's like a darker green. Okay, G4 eyes. Loving them. G4. I thought there was a plane. Oh, it's from Go Polis Me. Go Polis Me G4 eyes. Oh, wow. What's going on with these little gigs? Let's take those off so I can put my little eyes on. The annoying thing about doing like this, like with uh, eyes as uh, face paint, like individually do them. I'm like so lazy that it actually stresses me out. Why can't you pin looks across all outfits? Seriously, game, you gave us that ability and then you took it away? Also, one thing that I'm loving is it's given him long brown hair like uh, Yona's, which is exactly what I wanted to do with this little Chitterino. I just need to, I wanted longer than that. Like I wanted like longer than this. Problem is that I don't have any um, like really longer than that boy's hair. I don't really like that one very much. I guess we've not had this one before. That's sort of long and like wispy, like baby's hair. It kind of works. This one as well. I don't really know which one to go for. I've used this, like this one I probably would have used, but I've used it quite recently on my um, witches series. I guess it doesn't mean I, I don't, I can't use it in this, but hey, look, it's the hair you guys love to hate. I don't know. I I want like some new boys hairs. Like really that's kind of what I need. I've got this one, but it's really low texture. Like I don't really like that. I might go for this one for now. Honestly, I don't know. Can you tell I don't know what I'm doing? Because I think it's pretty obvious that I don't know what I'm doing. Then I might check in on all of like Yona's features so I can try and give him similar ones. I'm pretty sure his face is like, um, yeah, that's that load of adult skin details only. He's so handsome. I really hope the kids get his like wider nose. I just think he's got- I love his strong nose. I'm really hoping the kids get that. And he's got freckles as well. In fact, I'm pretty sure Willow has freckles too. So the kid's definitely gonna have freckles. And they're gonna be so freaking cute. And I love that he's come out so similar to Yona. I think the skin color has come out a little bit too red. Yona's is here. This is another thing it can't really get right. So like trying to remember where this is. Dice across left and down and then <laughs> Willow has some of uh, Salma's like roots in it as well. Hers is all the way over there. I just feel like he's come out looking a little bit burnt potato. But I might, that would be Willow's, which is too pale. And then that would be Yona's. I kind of want to give him Yona's skin tone. And then whilst it's going to be super stressful having kids on a farm. Um... Oh, it gave him freckles. <gasps> it preset gave him freckles. Okay, that's amazing. Um, while it's going to be stressful having um, kids on the farm when they're this young, as they get older, they're going to be able to help out more. So long game is super handy. So I'm kind of tempted to up his freckles like a lot more from like this. Although that is cute because it's like a little uh, pitter pattering. Okay, maybe maybe we can increase his freckles over time instead. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Oh wow, look, if I put the shine on him, it actually puts little crosses all over his face. Oh my gosh, look how cute that nose mask is. Oh, he's killing me. I'm dead. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> and then uh, I kind of feel like he needs like little ba baby on a farm type clothes. Okay, I don't know why baby on a farm clothes look like this, but in my head they do. <laughs> so that's his everyday clothes. Oh, your hair, what happened? Obviously for bed, he has to be dressed as a bear because he is baby bear. This is his little uh, formal outfit. I was going to give him more green outfits, but I'm like, one, that's just not the way the world works. But two, he looks pretty good in all colors. So why limit myself in that way? Oh my gosh, how could I give him his, his baby bear outfit and not put on bare feet? What was I even thinking? Sorry for that horrible moment of weakness there, gang. Obviously, he needs his bare feet he's on. Nita will be getting the exact same outfit. They're gonna look freaking adorable. Don't even worry. Cute, cute little tubster right there. Oh my gosh, he's got a lot of boxes on it. Oh. <laughs> I can't have no cuteness. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. You are literally a little bit bear. Oh my gosh, you've got a bear hoodie on. Oh! I don't even think you're going to get to see cold weather because I'm pretty sure it's like not ever going to get cold enough for this outfit while you're a toddler. But we can all dream. 
Like, there's no harm in dreaming, okay? So cute. Okay. And then I can finally change his name to Coda. Coda Bear. There he is, guys. He is so freaking cute. I literally can't even handle him. Uh, obviously, his bear outfits are the highlight of your day. I'm sure you'll agree. Here he is in his first bear outfit. And then he... Oh, Coda Bear. He's so cute. Which means he needs, like... Oh, he's got loads of energy. And I'm pretty sure I've aged him up in the middle of the night. Good thinking, Claire. He needs himself some little toddlerino, like, furniture for the room. Um, the thing is, this is rags to riches, so I can't just, like, spend ridiculous money. Oh, <gasps> but I have to get him this one because it's boho. And this house is kind of boho vibes, isn't it? So cute. Then is the one that's actually a bear? Because let's be serious now. If there's any kind of bear stuff, we have to get it. I think we're okay because it's foxes. So we, we've got by this time. And we need a little high chair in here. Again, let's just look for the most bear design we can find. Oh, yes, it's panda bears, but it's still bears. So we got that going for us. We get him a pusheen and a panda bear. Bear again. And obviously just a big old bear as well. Where can I put the big old bear? Because we need we need a lot of teddy bears, really. As you know, bear is kind of our jam right now. And I might get a little paddling pool as well, just because... It's gonna be real cute, isn't it? Let's face it. We've got some room back here. Let's get a little paddling pool for the guy. Right next to the bees, Claire, really? Uh, I want my children to grow up around animals, though. They'll love the bees. It's fine, okay? Work with me on this. And then as much as I just love to get them, like, all the toys and stuff, I have to be sensible because... I can't just be spending like loads of money because we just don't have it in this series. The whole point is we're trying to save for stuff. So like I have to restrain myself. I will get this little bear lamp though. I'm gonna put it on this shelf here. Look how happy he is with his little umbrella. Oh, he's killing me. Oh my gosh, another one that's a candle and is really small. Yes, yes, yes. Get on the shelf. The more bear related stuff we can get in this room, the better. I might also just paint the walls a bit because it's not very kiddy at the moment. Is there any bear wallpaper? Am I taking this bear thing a little bit too far? Is there such a thing? When they get older, I might have to separate their rooms. But for now, at least, they can be all cute and together. Is it, would this wallpaper make you go a bit mad? I, I would say so. Kind of fun for a kid's room though. You know what? They're only kids once. As Yona points out to us. Oh, that literally hurts my eyes so much though. What about if I just get them some big old rugs instead? Oh, that's better. I had a little rug in the living room as well. Because why not? Apparently, I'm just wasting money now. Oh, look, a painting of a bear. Oh, yes. Oh, a bear chair. Yes. I'm not getting a bear gnome, though, because I feel like the gnomes are evil. Are they? What do you reckon? Should I put a little bear outside the door <laughs> like this? I'm so Oh, my gosh, gross. I'm scared he's going to, like, terrorize us, but he can be there all the same. In fact, maybe out here. A little bit further away. There you go. I'm going to stop spending now. But I think he'll be happy with his little berry room. Why are you sad? You're sad from meeting a new sibling that you didn't want. I mean, she's been here a while. Kind of rude, I would say, but okay. Do a little bit of pot training. And I'm going to see if he goes back to sleep again because it's 4 a.m. It's just too much. I'm going to drink some of my mangosteen peel tea that I got in Bali. Oh, and now the other child has a work and Of course, uh... <laughs> I kind of don't want you to be a toddler for loads longer because it's sort of annoying, but I need at least some age gap in between the two of them. He's still super sad about this new toddler, so that's great. Why don't you play with your doll? Play with your bear. Hey, look, it's like bears upon bears. Bears playing with bears with sad eyes because they hate their sister. But no, you guys are meant to look after each other, okay? I want you to be the kind of siblings that like look out for each other and work on the farm together. And then since Coda is um, a member of this family, in this family, we eat a lot of fish because we have to get like get it from outside. So get used to fried fish, kiddo. I hope you like it. Oh, and now he's finished eating, but Willow's trying to catch up some, some sleep. Jonah's taking Doggo for a walk. It's all a bit stressful. It's all a bit much. Doggo, please do your business. We need to get back to the child. Look at this little picture of family life. I think that Coda's about to meet uh, Bjorn for the first time. Oh, that's just so cute. He's like licking his cheek. That's so cute. Most of the time I feel like my, my babies can only like imitate the um animals but Coda actually was like petting him and stuff so that's really cute I love that he's like tiny Yona that's just absolutely adorable I love that so much he's so cute 
He's so cute. Oh, this is not helping with baby babies, is it? Oh, and the child is now vexed because he's tired, but I can't, like, reach. Like, if the bed's there, you should be able to read it to sleep. I really don't understand why you can't. So I'm just gonna have to send him to bed all on his own. Oh, and of course, then the baby wakes up because this is just my life in this house. A life of stress. Nita, please be, like, good and easy because mommy really needs to get a bit of sleep. Yona's out here looking after the farm all on his own today because I was up all night with Babaru. It's just real tough work. Real tough work, okay? Oh, and of course the baby won't go to bed. Not the baby, the toddler. Of course the toddler won't go to bed. And now he's vexed because he's tired. <laughs> it's the hard work. Oh, guys, finally he's asleep. Finally, if you think babies are hard, toddlers are like, lol. Hold my sippy cup. I'm going to be so much harder than that still. Jonas finally got some time aside to start trying to build some more stuff. I'm gonna try and like plan out how the bakery is gonna look. Also, her last bakery when she was younger and she was just starting out was called the Baby Bear Bakery. But now that she's got like a little family yeah. and two little cups, uh -huh. a kind of bit like little bear cups, mm -hmm. I kind of thought maybe we should call it the Mama Bear Bakery. I think that would be such a cute idea. You guys need to let me know what you think. And let's get you doing a bit of baking so that we can try and sell some stuff as well, please. Oh my god, another toddler's up and wandering. Why are you not sleeping? You've got no energy. Go back to sleep. Connor, stop trying to set me up with people when I've got two kids with someone. Oh, cute scenes. Cute scenes ahead. Kissing little Babaroo goodnight. Little Baba, I'm like, can you do woodworking, please? And he's like, no, I should have kissed my children. And you know what? I ain't even mad because that's way cuter. And Willow's asleep in the bath. Wow, this feels like deja vu from last episode. You brought this upon yourself with your risky woo woos. Oh, <gasps> Chase has come round. Oh my gosh, Chase. Chase, Chase, Chase. It needs its diaper changing. It needs the diaper changing. Can you see that? Can you see the dirty diaper? Come on, kiddo. Come on, the diaper. It's the diaper. Chase, come on, Chase, 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 please. We really need your help. It's the diaper. Can, can you can you can you smell it? Oh, Chase, babes, Chase, you're useless. You're cute and your new hairstyle's adorable, but you are so useless. Oh, eventually, you'll know how to come and sort it. <laughs> you don't make things easy, Chase. Oh, and you've just grabbed a serving of the biscotti we're meant to be selling. Oh, give me strength. Gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> It just never ends. It's like Koda is hungry. Feed him before he gets taken away. <sighs> Can you have biscotti? Can you feed a child biscotti? I don't see why not. There you go, child. Enjoy some Italian, is it? Enjoy some Italian hard biscuits usually enjoyed with coffee. Okay, well, this is just freaking adorable, isn't it? Neither of you should be eating them because they're meant to be for sale to fund the bakery, but I'll allow it because watching dad and son eat their little biscotti on the sofa is kind of adorable, let's face it. And look, we're putting little... I don't know why I just went so far away, but we're putting little Coda in the pool for the first time. It's like a really sunny day, but the pool is in the shade, which is good. And look, Look how cute. Look how actually cute these scenes are. So adorable. Like, in between all the sleep deprivation and peeing yourself and crying, there's some moments of joy and sometimes, gang, that's all you can ask for. That is absolutely all that you can ask for. Oh, wow. Oh, there's going to be more peeing in a minute from the way that Yona's walking. He's off to go make me a dining chair for the bakery, but clearly really needs to wee. And yeah, it's a, it's a fine balance of, like, stress and crying. And beautiful moments. Isn't that the way life's meant to be? Oh, and the baby's going to cry in a minute. There's the fine moment that I discussed. Oh, and Koda can use the potty chair on his own. It's stressful, gang, but I honestly feel like I'm such a better baby owner nowadays. The change has been so dramatic. Beanie just came back from her walk. She's so cute. Man, I miss Bean so much. Also, as you can tell by everyone's needs, like, stress. Oh, look at these two having a little heart to heart as well. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I love that so much. That's adorable. Brother in law bonding. Oh, of course, the baby has to ruin it all. Oh, of course, it does. Of course, it does. Of course, it does. Oh, and also, the other one has been wrecking the floor. Great. Oh, but at least brother in law. They're not actually married. Willow and Yona aren't married, but still. Nice that, like, brother-in-law comes to, like, keep him company while he's chit-chatting with the baby. Sweet bonding in a room full of babies is just warming my soul. I love this series. It's so wholesome and cute, and I just love it. And it's that 6 a.m. call to wake up and look after the baby. This isn't getting boring at all. I don't know why I've never once done this before. 
but you can place food and drink in a high chair at the same time. It sounds like the most like simple thing in the whole world, but I've never done it before. So this is pretty, this is a pretty big moment for me. Exciting times right here. Child is able to wash down his peas. <gasps> Bacon level nine, well done Willow. It takes so long to increase when you get at the top, but she's getting there. And I feel like, I feel like today has to be the day, please, please, please. Please, can we find some time today to just like go ahead and do something with the Mama Bear Bakery? We've got 6,000 simoleons. We're doing pretty good. Look at this, even more. You can sell your stuff for so much nowadays. Oh, look, the crying toddler is stressing her out. I feel just like she is in this picture below. There's just been way too much crying in this episode, okay? Way too much crying. And the dog that was desperate for the toilet apparently no longer needs a toilet. There you go. There you go. Oh my god, and the dog dog woke up the baby. I just had to lecture Bjorn about waking up the baby. As if things weren't hard enough. Are you kidding me right now? <gasps> no, you will not go make- <laughs> Trying to make a mess of my farm. Get to bed. And another dining chair is done. Okay, I think Yona needs to head over. Can I like- Yona's learnt not to bark at Sims. Yes, <laughs> How do I like put my household inventory? Can I add it to a person? Like- how do I bring these to the bakery? I'm a bit worried that I've like been making them and there may be no way to sell them. This could be a source of stress. Chase is a sheep right now apparently. But Yona is gonna go ahead and travel to the business just on his own. On his own, just so that we can start to build things. He's having a little post-walk nap like, so cute. Okay, cause this is our bakery. The good thing is, is right in the center of town, which is pretty awesome. It's a little bit overcast here, which is not helping my visibility very much. But does my household inventory- oh my gosh, thank gosh. Okay, so stupid mud patch. It's not a huge plot of land. I need to try and plan this out really well, which is tough because I'm not the greatest builder on earth. But like, what what does the rest of the street look like? Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't know what I'm doing. But I feel like it should, the front of it should be here. But then I feel like we should have a nice little like area to like sit outside and eat here. I'm gonna put some foundations up just cause the rest of the houses here have it. So I've kind of forgotten how to do foundations though. This is not a good start. 6,000 pounds to build with. You know, you can't turn your nose up at it. Oh my gosh, funds go very quickly. Like, wow. <laughs> this is gonna be a longer process than I originally thought, isn't it? I'm gonna look at some bakeries on the gallery for inspiration. Oh, wow. Some of these are really cool. I want it to be like quite wholesome though. I mean, that one's pretty cute, but wholesome vibes. Okay, I like that this has got like the two bits either side here. That's really cute. How would walls cost this much? My money's just going away so fast. Oh, there we go. Okay, foundations. Was that always like that? Am I just being stupid? I don't remember it being like that. And I'm liking these like cute little like stairs and stuff that other people have caught. So I'm gonna just straight up copy them. <laughs> okay, I'm already sort of vibing that with the prices that everything, like you have to pay for everything. This is gonna be a slow, slow build. Like this is gonna take a while. But I want like a really cute sort of like, I don't know, nice bakery. So I'm willing to wait, okay? Like just look at this cute little entrance. Like I don't, I don't really quite know what's going on with like, I don't know, this strange sort of like, would that look better? Like, I don't even know, maybe. It's, everything's a stranger's shape at the moment, but... We'll get there, okay? There's currently looking much better than mine, but just try and look past it. Oh, I've run out of money. I can't put the final bit of wall there. But I'll, I'll at least like remind myself what I was going for. So there'll be like an outdoor bit here. The kitchen will be on the back. The toilets will be here. It just needs a little bit more time, but these will all be glass and like really cute. It'll get there, gang. It will get there. But I'm on $46. Like, I don't even think I've got that much money at home to even, like, work with. I can give myself, like, another 300 But, like, you know, I do have, like, a house to feed. Two kids. So I've got to be kind of careful. Yeah. Things cost so much money. Like, what, since when? Since when did things cost so much money? You never realize how expensive so much, like, so many different parts of this game are until you do the rags to riches challenge. It's, like, a little bit of an eye-opener. A Sims privilege was there. Uh, is showing and apparently there's like a blank sign you can hang and then like use one of the decals to put on like create your own logo i saw it on the sims subreddit i don't know where the sign is 
because these signs have got stuff on them. But there is a blank one. Sell this gravestone. Oh, I can't sell that apparently. What can I sell all of these? How many is there? There's like 73. Like e even if I just sell 50. Oh, oh my gosh. 2,000 pounds. Oh, you were some good strawberries right there. And I can't find the blank sign, which is driving me mad. Because I saw someone in the subreddit do it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so perfect for rugs to riches. I'll be able to put like a little bear on it or something. But no, obviously not when I can't even find it. Look, empty sign with a decal on it. Where is the sign? I'm feeling like it has to be in a pack I don't have, which is very sad. I've got these signs I can put up, but I'm probably wanting to put like another layer on top when I can afford it, so I can put those signs up there. But still, I re I was so excited to try and make like a baby bear sign. You don't even understand. Oh well, it's still looking super cute, at least for now. <laughs> I've no idea how to plan the inside of this. But at least we have like is this like Yona's? Yeah, it's Yona's handmade like places to like sit and eat and i need like some of yona's planters and stuff outside oh i've run out of money but <laughs> i wanted like uh, all this to be roof but then like the middle bit to have like like a cuteness about it i just i don't really know how to do it yet then have some like you know like little, little sticky things like holding that bit up i guess i can sell some more of these <laughs> although what are they holding up like <laughs> Yeah, that's what I wanted. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> I have $3 left. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've kind of exhausted all options here, but you can see the look I'm going for. It's going to be a very Frenchy looking bakery. We can't, we still can't open it yet, but like, it's getting cute, okay? It's getting cute. And it's got at least a table <laughs> and a mirror, but it will get there in the end, okay? I just wanted to do a little bit more on it this episode so that you guys knew I wasn't neglecting it. And I do have plans for it. Thanks, Yona, for building this. I feel and craftsmanship just wow it's superb i am gonna get him to head his little butt home and since it's saturday now and i'm pretty sure i aged up this little pie on wednesday i think it was i'm gonna go ahead and age up our other pie so we'll have two toddler pies just because i really want to see how they both look like by the end of this episode i can already see nita has blue hair Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna make Nita... Why don't we make her, like, quite an independent little child? Oh, wow. Nita is literally Macy right now. Let's go ahead and pop some CC on her as well. Mini Macy. Mini Macy right there. Oh, she's so cute. She looks so much like... um. Coda though. And again, I'm gonna change the skin tone to I think this this is the one. Maybe like that is um Yona's, but I'm gonna make this one hers. It is a little bit more warm. And oh my gosh, stop moving around. I'm trying to put skin details on you. And again, I'm gonna go for like a uh, greeny eyes. Just because green eyes are kind of rare, so it's nice to get them. I got these ones and I've got these ones. They're really cute, actually. I like how bright they are. Okay, and then um, blue hair, probably not the most normal hair color for a toddler, so I quite like that hair. I think that's really cute. I like that hair, it's got a nice flick to it. I like this little like cute bun as well. I think that's pretty adorable. Actually, I like that one on her. It's got like a nice sort of free spirit, free kind of vibe to it. And honestly, although she's still got a lot of Yona in her, I can see much more willow in her face. Like I feel like the girls like got a very like willowy face, which is really cute. And then obviously, we have to revive the bear outfit just because it's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's so horrible. <laughs> Obviously, she's making me want to do a little cry. Both of their kids are like so adorable, but they've got this like, I don't know, like quite intelligent look about them. I love them. <laughs> Especially her, like look at her face. Don't you think she looks really smart? And obviously for bed, you need uh, matching bear outfits just because we're the kind of family that makes our children have matching outfits. Ain't even mad. Nita and... Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're so cute together. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen oh, let's put some alice sandals on you oh my gosh yes cool outfit but maybe not for the pool <laughs> what do you say yes green cuteness i don't even care that your hair's clipping we're gonna ignore that oh my god <laughs> so cute so we've got nita and we've got coda and honestly they are both so so adorable <laughs> 
Little cubs, they're my little cubs. Oh my gosh, Yona straight away being like, oh, my cubs are so cute. I have to just like teach my cub to walk so that she can leave the den one day. But not yet, because I like them being children forever. Oh my gosh, cuteness. Look at her looking at him. They wish like the dads in the game could like hold both kids at once, all the mums as well. But particularly, this is like pulling on like daddy bear heartstrings. Look at this, so cute. Oh my gosh, the two bears together. The two little bears. She looks so damn smart. Like she's got quite a grown up face about her. And there we go, two bears. Life is about to get pretty hard in this household. I'm just gonna say that because the only thing harder than babies is toddlers. So this is gonna be a little bit of a struggle for them both. At least they are both like so freaking cute together that actually, actually wanna have a little cry. Oh my gosh, they're two little like, Yona and Willow are kind of like, they have a little bit of a similarish vibe. Look at Cho, Chase just being like, this is so cute. So when you combine their genes together, you get like super similar looking children. And I'm just there for it because these guys are so cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Rags to Riches. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Let me know what you think of their little designs. And also let me know what you think of the name baby at Mama Bear Bakery for the bakery in the comments below. And oh my god. <laughs> I'll see you guys in another episode. Bye! Can be a fire if you want.